Hello everybody, it's SC61 here, and we are playing Kirby Superstar. In the last episode, we went through the stupidest maze ever. In this episode, we're moving on in the Great Cave Offense, and we will probably be doing Gourmet ra Gourmeted Race. I don't know. Stupid Race. Sure. Whatever it's called. And I don't know what that guy was doing. Don't need a Max Tomato, really. Treasure! Ow. Go get the treasure. There we go. And we got a Pegasus Wing. Sweet. I think we're actually going to get all the treasures. Yeah, we are. This is the right way. So, one, two, three, four, five more. Five more, guys. Five more. So, we're like 11, 12, so I don't know. <laughs> are the way done. Come on, leave. Yeah, there we go. I love they're trying to kill me. But they can't! Because they're failures in life. Alright. What are they doing? That scares me. It's like they want to kill me. They want to kill me! Oh, man. You always need the wheel. Oh, speaking of the wheel. See ya. <laughs> I fooled you guys. You thought I was going to grab it. Alright, man. You're going down. Yeah, this suck to fight this guy for the wheel. No, don't take it! Okay, I, I, I want your ability. I like the umbrella. And you suck at umbrella. AI sucks as umbrella. Anyway, the raccoon doll. Tom Nook reference. Not <laughs> yes, they made an Animal Crossing reference before Animal Crossing existed. That's how epic Kirby is. He can make references to games in the future before they even exist. No, okay, I totally lost that. Dude! Off my face! As weird as that may sound. No! Okay, you guys just want me to say that, so there you go! I can eat you, man. But not right now. I killed him. Ow! Ow! Do you not like me because I'm not- Oh crap. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! They wanna kill me! Wow, they, he just blew up the other guy. Well, that was lucky. Totally unintentional. But anyway. Uh, come on. Go the right way. Let's go get ourselves killed. Come on. No, of course I can't break that. My stupid little ear. Not really stupid, I like it. But anyway. Come on, let me let me go through the door to get myself killed because this place is stupid because I need to win. Wheel Kirby, go! I already beat this boss. Mm -hmm. Can't kill me, man. Bam, 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 bam. Can't touch me. Dude, I even hit him. Without trying. That's hilarious. Bang. Like, look at that. Pathetic. Oh, he actually hurt me after he... His dying corpse is killing me. Wow. Now that's... Flying Will! For the win. Okay. Don't really care for Will Kirby, to be honest. I like him a bit, but... Boom. Alright, now, if I remember correctly, somewhere around here... There's actually a treasure chest at the bottom of one of these. Could be wrong, you know. I do that on a... Ow! Occasion! Okay, squid. My will person's... My helper's stuck. Because he's a failure in life. One up. Ah, here it is. Let everybody out. Grab a treasure. Uh, grab the treasure. Alright. Shell whistle! I don't know why you would use a whistle as a shell. Or a shell. <laughs> wow! I don't know why you would use a whistle as a shell. No, I, would, I wouldn't know why you would use a shell as a whistle, but I guess if you really want to. Dude, Kirby, you got fat. <laughs> you can't... Wow. I'm sitting here trying to swallow him. That guy. Uh, one up. One up. One up. 
Oh dang, I remember this. Ouch. Okay. Gonna uh, run over here, grab. No, not cut her. No, you stupid will. Go die, die. Goodbye. You're no longer friends with me. You got killed. I don't care. Anyway, you just want to use Crash right here, so it hits the button. So the way he gets tired. You say that every time. Anyway, hit that, opens up a path, grab our next treasure, which is the Oria Hanakan. I don't know. And two more treasures left. Wow. Should have grabbed that next tomato, but we're getting out of here, guys. It's so nice they put these stars there so we don't have to go all the way back. Instead, it just takes us all the way back. Alright. And we'll go in here, grab the tomato, save it, sure, whatever. Doesn't really matter that much. It's like a one second save. Less than that, probably. And we're on to the final area. Of the Great Cave Offense. And we're actually going to get all the treasures, which kind of surprises me. But, um, I'm trying to remember. There's tr Ah. Uh, wow. Okay, you can't cut that one. You cut that one, prevent yourself from getting a one up. Which I just grabbed anyway. So you cut the first one up there, and that's it. That is all you cut to get that treasure. And that's the second to last treasure. And so, we're close, guys. We're gonna finish this episode and do four mirrors, like I hope. So go down here, hit the first one, miss out on a one up if you didn't screw up like I did. It might help her so stuck. And I say, screw the- no, I'm right. Grab the platinum ring, worth a decent amount. Look at how much money we have. We're literally like 80,000 off. Wonder how much the last one's worth. I wonder what it could be as well. We've had Mario references, Donkey Kong references, um, Animal Crossing references. <laughs> okay, I'm totally joking about the Animal Crossing. Yeah, but anyway, um, what else have we had? Maybe even Star Fox. I don't know about Star Fox. Um, let's see what else we've had. Donkey Kong, Pokemon, Metroid, even like Kirby. Let's see, Stone, Star Stone, yeah. Kirby, M Mother slash Earthbound. Captain Falcon, aka. Uh, I can't even remember the game now, all of a sudden. F Zero, F Zero, yeah. I mean, what could the last treasure possibly be? Could it be a reference to a game we haven't seen? Hmm. No. No, here's the annoying thing about this one you have to go down here and not hit those. Oh, wow. Yeah, kind of jerks. And this is where the last treasure is, guys. Oh, come on. That's like jerkish. It's like, eh, no. What could it be? Da da da! We got the Triforce! Yep, it was the Triforce. Hinted towards it. Don't know if you guys got that right, but anyway. And with that, we got max gold. Like, 999999990. And umbrella for the win for the final boss of the Great Cave Offense, guys. This is it. Meet a giant floating face with. Oh man, you can tear through this thing with um Paracel if you know what you're doing. So helper, you are clueless, aren't you? He has no idea what to do. Oh man, he's about. To make the fall, so you want to use your shield button. Also helps if you have umbrella. So. Sometimes you can grab people, unless I'm thinking of a second. Nope, there we go. I actually saved my partner right there. You can see, you can punch people, and my partner's dead. I really don't care. And now he's gonna drop rocks. There's actually second versions of these guys later, in later games. Um, and that's how come I might get confused and say something that's not true. It, it's because it's true about the later version. Ow. 
he's trying to kick me and it failed, so... Oh, he's trying to punch me and it failed. Aw, uh, didn't hit him. And, raining rocks. Not too bad if you have Umbrella Grippy. Probably watch his eyes, too. Um, oh, wow. Dang, he actually kicked me. Oh, wow, he's actually moving while doing that. Um, didn't really get... Oh, what? Okay, I've never seen that move. Never seen that one? Call it, this is like Master Hand or something. Wow, this is like really close. Um, defensive position? You like it? I love how he's like trying to tell him the rocks to go get that. Alright, this is it! Bang! Goodbye to this mummy type person. And with that, we've made it to the next trolley. <laughs> That's right, guys. There's still more. No, I'm joking. <laughs> This is actually going to get us out, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, if you get all the treasures, it's a secret final boss, and I had no idea. Oh, that would just be horrible. Because I really don't have a clue if there is. I don't think there is. And with that, we found these stupid elevators that are taking us up. Because we went down really far. And you can actually see Dino Blade's place in the background. That's kind of interesting. And you might recognize right now where we are. This is the very beginning. If you actually go back and look at the beginning, you'll notice there was these rocks right here. And it's actually funny that they don't let you go back. It's like, no. They should have just made the warp star appear. And this is a separate area, you know? But they should have just made it so it was a complete circle and the warp star appears after you beat the final boss. Because the warp star takes you out of the hole that you fell down at the very beginning. And we can see Kirby getting out of the hole. And it was actually filled up for some reason. Okay. I don't remember that part of the story. Gold medal. And as we can get right here, we get the list of what we grabbed as he flies away. I love how it just like changes the position of where he's flying. Crystal ball, lucky cat. Syria sword. I swear something there might be a Final Fantasy reference in one of these. I don't know. Zebra mask. That mask actually for some reason reminds me of Majora's mask. I don't know. I love Kirby, you're just flying in place or something. I don't know. A dime! And it actually makes sense that the dime's worth ten and the hundred dollar coin's worth one hundred thousand. Cause if the dime's worth ten 100 or a 100 dollar a 1 dollar coin would be worth a hundred so a hundred dollar coin would be no maybe 10,000 yeah okay it it makes sense it's 10,000 okay yeah I was confused about that but a dime's a lot less than a hundred dollar coin so and oh another background sweet and you kind of miss out on some of these if you just rush through it so and Kirby's just flying away. Autumn time. Rice bowl. Tuts mask. Mr. Saturn! Who knows why he's named that, but I guess he is. Maybe someone, maybe someone at Nintendo was trying to come up with a name, looked through a telescope, saw Saturn, and thought it had a big nose, and it reminded him of that guy. He's like, okay, we're gonna name him Mr. Saturn. Cause he looks like Saturn. Maybe. No, not really. Katana. That should have been a spoon. Final Fantasy II reference. <laughs> ah, that is, that's great. Shiny Bamboo. I can't believe. Seriously. $600,000. Seriously. If you convert how this game converts money, that would be like... $6,000. And the Triforce is only worth um, $80,000. Hmm. Treasure found 60 of 60, total gold, 99999, uh, whatever. A big number. I think it's like 9999 Congratulations! I think that you, you only get this if you get everything, and that shows how rich Kirby is now. And with that, we have beat the Great Cave Offense. And now, offensive. Gourmet race. Gourmet race. I don't know. Gourmet race? Yeah. 
I'm gonna call it Gormiers. Race through Gormant World. It's Gormant, but whatever, Matt. To the finish, gobbling up all the tasty treats you can find. Okay, level, and it's like question, question, question mark. Now, I don't believe we'll have, um, a in- Oh, we do. So, Kirby's hungry. Flying, thinking about all the food. He finally made it out of the cave. And, wow, that's a big hill. And then he finally made it to the top. But he was tired. And... Guess who? King DD's back and he stole all the food again. Now, I'm not going to do these races. These are just solo races. We're doing the Grand Prix. Grand Prix is Kirby versus King DDD. That's just going to basically tell us, run as fast as you can, eat as much food as you can. See? The goal is to beat him, but also collect as much food as possible. And we're off to a great start. And we're off to a... Okay, I'm not going to sing through this, but... And you can see the numbers in the bottom. That's how much food you've got and how much King DDD has. And King DDD always takes the same path, so... So, I don't... Kirby's, like, so tired, and all this food must keep him going. I don't know. And first one to the checkpoint gets bonus or something. I don't know. No, they get, yeah, I think they do get bonus at the end. Level 2, go! And King DDD's slow at starting up, but he doesn't ever screw up. But he doesn't go after everything necessarily, so. Wow, this is like, I love this game though. This is probably my, one of my favorite, Galactic, or next episodes when we do Meta Knight's Revenge is actually my favorite. And the reason it's called Meta Knight's Revenge is because, um, Kirby's Adventure. And so, wow, King DDD stops stalking me or something. Like, really. And let's keep going. Wow, we beat King DDD by a long shot that time. I think we've got this in the bag. But yeah, it's called that because of Kirby's Adventure, King DDD's in it, and we'll explain that later. And you can actually get power-ups, but I'm totally going to avoid that and go for that instead. And let King DDD get ahead. Oh, sweet, man. Oh, come on. He's, like, so fat, he takes up more blocks. <laughs> and I don't think you can actually die on this, so... Go down. I got the next tomato. Thank you, King DDD. Aha! Oh, wow! I love how I d this is like, this is pretty epic right here. Seeing who can go up faster. Oh man, King DDD's like, we're ex oh wow, I even screwed up. Oh no, King DDD's getting ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not be defeated by King DDD. Ah, oh, it's that way, really? This is the thing that gets confusing is this. Come on, I can catch up. No! I will not disgrace the song. I'm going up this way. Ah. Uh, come on. Gotta beat King DDD. Yes! We don't have as much food as him this round, but we got the win. And the win actually counts quite a bit. So. As you can see there, we totally destroyed him, even though in the last... We only had 114 food, but we had the three wins, and that really counts a lot. And so we got a winner, and it's Kirby! And King DDD's not so happy. Wow. Let's party! Yeah! We won! We won! We destroyed King DDD! He sucks! Yeah! Yeah, we're partying! Alright. Anyway, guys. With that, we have finished... Got mate race. Alright, gourmet race. And in the next episode, we will take on the revenge of Meta Knight. Will he defeat Kirby this time? Or will Kirby stop this revenge that he's trying to do to Kirby? Okay. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Not really, but. Yeah, in the next episode, we'll take that. On, we'll take on a Revenge of Midnight. It's actually not too long. I think we can fit in one episode. Worst comes to worst, we finish it in two. So, yeah. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time when we take on the Revenge of Meta Knight. He ain't happy, guys. And he's got good reasons. See you guys then.